Welcome back. And now we're making gluten-free snacks that we were talking about. Anne is going to share two of her favorite recipes for making a quick, healthy, gluten-free snacks. And I think that's the key. You gotta make some yeah. of this stuff at home because you're not gonna find this exactly. anywhere else. Exactly. A lot of people who go gluten-free because they have to, they feel like, you know, they're missing out on all the cakes mm -hmm. and the donuts and the things that you can just stop and buy really quickly. So right. a lot of people, when they first go gluten-free, they really feel deprived. And so the thing for me was learning how to cook and what to cook to kind of fill the void right. that you might exactly. be feeling. So yeah. today I'm going to share with you two of my favorite recipes. These are recipes that I came up with in my kitchen. And this first one, I have a five-year-old. Yes. You also have two kids. Yep. So we're busy moms. And, you know, my daughter also eats gluten-free. So this first recipe recipe I call these the easiest banana cookies ever because and they're pretty easy this that you see right here are the only ingredients in these cookies no bananas, flour no sugar no flour no sugar bananas coconut raisins mini chocolate chips and chopped walnuts and that's it you can put this all in one bowl you mash up the bananas you mix it all together and these actually stick together they come out into delicious cookies after you bake them they're healthy all they have in it basically is fruit and nuts a little bit of chocolate chips when I buy chocolate chips I like to buy the enjoy life brand because they are free of all the top allergens and it says um, exactly it so if you have a child with allergens that's a great choice for you I'm gonna share this recipe with you later for people who are at home that are interested this next one I'm gonna actually have you help me make this Yay. okay this is easy there's no baking involved here at all and I call Call these raw energy bites. If you ever buy those Lara bars or the bars at the store that are just made with fruit and nuts, they can be expensive if you yeah, buy absolutely. those all the time. Yeah. So I came up with this recipe at my house. I'm gonna let you help me put this all in here. Okay. We have 10 dates, 10 dried apricots, a third a cup of walnuts, a third a cup of almonds, some unsweetened coconut. I'm gonna put in about two tablespoons of just raw honey. I'm just okay. gonna, oh, I didn't even open this. Yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna eyeball it and put that in here. Go ahead and write it and put those chocolate oh. chips in there. Okay. And then there's some gluten-free vanilla. It's just one tablespoon of gluten-free vanilla. You know, just these, pour that in there. Just listening to you, what you're saying, you know, this is gluten-free, this is different. Because you don't even think a vanilla would be, you know, high right. anything but like that. But some of it is gluten-free. Okay, we're going to get loud for just a second. That's we okay. put everything in there. And this is literally all you do. You're just going to use the processor to mix everything up. Okay, and then once it's all combined, you have like a crumble type thing here. Right. And you just scoop it out with a spoon and you form it into, you can lay it out and do bars. Okay. Or you can do, I like to do these little bites. See, these are I small like and I put them in these little um, cupcake. Kind of control yeah. portion and type so of thing. Yeah, and so my daughter asks for a snack and I tell her, hey, just run over there and grab and one of those. Wonder. And you saw what we put in here. It was, everything was healthy. Absolutely. There's no sugar in here. There's no flour. There's no nothing. Um, so I think for people who are going gluten-free, or who have kids mm -hmm. who are gluten-free, you really have to learn some of these simple tips and easy recipes that you can do at home. And that's the key, kids, because yeah. the kids like to eat, you know, they, they like the, the cakes and the, yeah. you know, cupcakes. And they every want five cookies, minutes, they want, mom, can I have can a snack? I have, yeah, I'm hungry, <laughs> exactly. So I'm pretty sure it has been very challenging to, you know, for your five-year-old or for you specifically to kind of do anything like that for a snack, even it for, for dinner. Yeah, and so what I did is I kind of, I started my own Facebook page. It's yes. called My Gluten-Free Life in Laredo, Texas. And what you're seeing here is some of the food that I cook. I do my own recipes. You can follow me on my journey here, my journey with celiac disease and my journey with trying to live gluten-free in yes. Laredo and how challenging that is. So go follow me on Facebook. There you'll find both of these recipes that we just did today if you want to see the recipe and make them for yourself at home. Yeah, there. absolutely. And, and she does. She has a bunch of different <laughs> recipes. Whether it's a dinners, you have lunch plates in there. You know, I because cook any and you everything. You have to do yes. everything. You do your breakfast, your lunch, your snacks, your dinner, absolutely everything at home. And I think it's the best thing because then you will know exactly what you're putting in there. Instead yeah. of going to a restaurant, you don't know. Exactly. If doing and it a correctly. lot of people who go gluten free, that's the challenge for them. They say, yeah. I don't like to cook. Well, unfortunately, if you want to stay healthy, you may have to learn how to cook. So yeah. I like people to follow me, and you can kind of get some tips and trade on yeah, the trade absolutely. and how you can learn to cook All as right. well. Thank you so much for being with us here this afternoon. We'll be right back.